Oh, hello, Minecrafters. Uh, I've made some modifications uh, to the transport network here, and I will go over those uh, in just a moment. Um, but uh, first, we're going to show a little demonstration here. So, say I'm over here at Dark Blue Base, and uh, I want to get some stuff from Red Base way off in the distance there. Uh, and say I'm starting a big construction project, and uh, we're going to basically ask for things using a coded system. So I'm going to go to red base and come back to dark blue. And we're going to use the bucket for the retrieval symbol. Uh, these things can really be anything you want. Uh, but uh, just for example purposes, we're just going with these. Uh, so bucket means retrieve. And we're going to get some food because we're going to need that after we're done building things. Uh, but we're also going to need a new set of tools as well. And I've got the lever uh, as the code to uh, bring back some tools. And uh, now, uh, while that's doing that, uh, we've also got a bunch of stuff that we might as well store and that we don't need over here as well, too. So we're also going to send a cart to red base, and this time we're going to use the chest to indicate we want to store something. So we're going to store, and then we're going to put everything that we want to store at base. So we're going to go ahead and send these carts off and uh, follow them in a minute here. And while we're doing that, we're also going to uh, send a cart to Yellow Base, um, but we're going to ask it to bring back some food over there as well. Alright, so let's follow this. This is the uh, first cart here. It went through the first intersection. And we've got a bunch of dust stations on the way. And so this is getting evaluated down at the bottom. And here we go. Now we're at the third intersection. Okay, I just got to evaluate the destination. All right, now we're entering red base, and now it's getting evaluated and says, oh, we're going to store things. So we're going up to the storage area, and we can see items getting pulled out. Then the cart deposits itself against the cactus into the chest. Meanwhile, We've got another cart here, uh, retrieving from our sorted storage. All right, just got some food. Uh, now it's going to go get some tools, and it's going to come back to base. Uh, and here's our final cart. It's going to get food as well, and it's going to come back to a different location. And you can even check it on the way because see it's retrieving some steaks for us. All right, so now we've stripped off the red base tag, and that's just going to leave us with yellow base in the case of this cart. That's going to go off and do its thing. Traveling back to the network. Right, now this central intersection has some more destinations, so it's got a few more filters down there. All right, so that's made its way over to yellow. And there's the food. And we gave it a new tag just by being in the base here. All right, so we ordered some food and construction materials at dark blue here. And here we go. We got some steak and a full complement of tools. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some of the changes. It's a little bit more resource intensive now and takes just a little bit longer to evaluate. But I think it's worth it because now instead of just having one destination where a cart can go to and that's it, now we can actually program a whole route. So in this case, it's uh, you have to be a little bit more careful of where you put items. Uh, so you have to put the destinations uh, as your first uh, things in the, in the chest. And depending if you're going to retrieve them, you really want to take up those first slots. So that's why we, we, when we put our destinations and so forth, we're putting them both up here. And then the any other codes that we have to evaluate, we put after that. Um, but uh, I'm going to go back to base, and I'm going to take a little closer look at some of the things that are happening here. Uh, I'm going to actually just send a cart on a short trip here, uh, so we can watch it a little bit more closely. So we're going to go to red. Let's say we're going to retrieve. Red, we're going to come back to uh, pink. 
Alright, you can tag. Alright, so we're gonna go come back to pink. Retrieve, we're gonna get well, let's do food again. And this time we're gonna use a stick, and that's gonna mean armor and weapons. Alright. So we send that up. Okay, so we're gonna go through it, it, it evaluates our destination. Okay, so it's going to be the retrieval code and go into the retrieval buffer, which is empty, so it's quick. This is going to flip the appropriate uh, appropriate uh, switches here. It's going to food, and we're also going to pick up some weapons and armor, and now that's going to go back to pink. All right, while well, it's doing that. Uh, let's see what we've got here. So this is your standard uh, item sorter. Um, instead of water, though, I'm using hopper chain just because it was a little easier in creative mode here, but the same principle. So we've got some traditional storage here uh, where the items just get sorted and they get stored uh, you know, for later use. Uh, these over here take up a little bit more space. Um, but that's, you know, we're going to need that space for the bales anyway, so these actually can deposit and retrieve uh, automatically. Uh, but instead of retrieving you know, as much as the cart can hold, we've designated a par here. We're, telling, we're only going to pick up 64 of whatever's in that chest. And you know, I've got some others over here as well. The food is in stacks of 15 or 16, I think. 16, there we go. Uh, this is actually two different kinds, but it'll just pull out whatever. And over here we got something a little different. Uh, in these chests, these don't get sorted um, because they're not stackable. Um, but uh, we've got some items in sequence. And because they're in a specific sequence, they come out in a specific sequence. Uh, since the rest of this hopper is filled up with items, then we're just going to use that for a slot. And so we're asking for five items, so it's going to take five items at a time. And it just so happens it's a sequence of five. So that's how we get our set of tools. And the same with the armor. But we're only getting two items here. Just armor, weapon, armor, weapon. Um, but it's the same principle. Um, I've got a tutorial for these modules. Uh, specifically, I'll put that in the description. Um, this is a helpful little system. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I may do a more in-depth tutorial on these things. Uh, I've done tutorials on a lot of the parts, and so you can put them together how you want to. But if I get enough uh, requests, then maybe we can do more of a full-blown tutorial, if you will. Right, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.